To denigrate public sector workers is to denigrate democracy itself. Now for the trade union part. Since you're honoring me, I'm going to tell you some stories about how we got bargaining rights. I signed a piece of paper. <laughs> no committees. No studies. No hearings. No bullshit. I just signed the piece of paper. And that's how you got collective bargaining. Up until 10 years ago, we were in a virtual dreamland in the trade union movement in this country. I was one of those who used to attack international unions. It is imperative that you not abandon your own sovereignty, you not abandon your own identity, but you must begin to explore as public sector workers and as other trade union elements in North America to reach out to our brothers and sisters in the United States and in Mexico in demanding equal standards, equal wages, equal opportunities for health and safety standards right across the board. Either we join hand to hand with Mexican and American workers and fighting for these common standards inside the North American Free Trade Agreement, or we will be subject to be whipsawed against these others on the basis of national borders rather than common cause as workers. I plead with you to understand that the world is changing faster than the trade union movement is. The changes that are taking place to your generation in one, ge in one period of a generation are excelled to be 10 times greater within the next generation. The only way we can stem the tide of losing what we've gained, the only way we can ensure that others get to our level, the only way that we can guarantee that we can go beyond this is by working together. Shed the borders, shed the prejudices, and show some leadership. Let us begin to build a whole new spirit in trade unionism to contrast this globalization of the economy by having globalization of the trade union movement. We have nothing to lose and everything to gain when we sit down with our brothers and sisters in the United States and Mexico and in common cause take on the real enemy greedy, rampant, mindless, amoral capitalism in its new form. Thank you very much for listening.